What's going on everybody, Nick Gashler back again, um, and I'm going to be here to deliver a short film session today. we got Traylon Burks, uh, Arkansas wide receiver. A lot of people have been putting him in the top 10 of their drafts and 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 his and being wide receiver one. Uh, I see a lot of people doing that recently, and I haven't broken down a receiver yet. This receiver class is pretty interesting because there's a lot of names, uh, Traylon Burks being one of them, but I think Traylon Burks, in short is a good player but he's misused um i don't think arkansas gets him the ball enough and i think that's the mistake that they're making uh which could lead Traylon burks to being a really successful nfl receiver i think if he goes to a scheme where they can kind of use him like an aj brown or a debo samuel you see, you'll see those comparisons pretty uh, pretty consistently um i kind of feel a little bit more aj brown about him uh he's a bigger guy that can make those catches and can kind of get those yak yards but he certainly has that versatility and the Debo Samuelness to him. Uh, and with Debo Samuel being such a hot topic in the NFL these days and being such a good offensive player, a lot of people are wondering, where is my neck? Where is my Debo Samuel? Um, and I, I think a lot of a lot of NFL teams feel that Traylon Burst could be that guy, which is could lead him to going high. So I just want to come in here. I got about eight plays. Uh, let's get into it. This play right here, I think, does a good job of showing his versatility. He's lined up at H-back right here. He can play outside as a boundary receiver, as a slot receiver, as an H-back, as a running back. It really doesn't matter. Um, he comes in in motion. He's a versatile guy, and here we see it as a wing or an H-back. Um, and what I like about this play is he does a great job running his route. Um, this is a pretty underrated route just because it's a little hook. I'd like him to stick it right here. Um... But I guess that's not how he was asked to run the route. But I do like the fact, and I'll tell you why I like this route, he runs it over the linebackers. That's a really kind of nuanced thing that not a lot of players see, that I don't see out of a lot of a lot of college players, of him being able to run over the linebackers to pierce that open window right here, but underneath the safety where the safety isn't there yet. He doesn't stick it in the hook but he instead keeps going up because he sees his quarterback scramble that's another great point he sees his quarterback scrambling and he's going to try and improvise his route to get open doesn't necessarily work but it's a good shot at it and it shows us that he well i think he's a he tries to be a good route runner and he definitely does so but he he tries to be a nuanced route runner and he's just not nuanced as a route runner yet uh if you get what i'm saying but still this is a great route of being able to again come out of that halfback h-back position and being able to over go over the uh linebackers but under the safety to pierce that window right there that's something that trayvon or Traylon burks does really well is being able to manipulate zone coverage and get open in a lot of these routes we talk about route running i think route running is one of the most single important uh traits that you could have out of wide receiver if you have a good route runner chances are he's going to be open a lot and he's going to be able to catch a lot of footballs because most receivers at this level are able to catch footballs pretty consistently there are a few um that can't but Traylon burks is not one of those guys i think he's pretty consistent with the football we see right here uh he does a great job of being able to manipulate space again and get open uh we're going to see a great release as well he's going to come in come out and then come right up underneath this safety right here. Um, he doesn't necessarily cut again, so he's cutting, cutting, he's coming out this way, and he's just gonna make sure that this safety sees that and gets sold on it. Is running with him, and then he's just gonna go vertical rather than keep going at that angle. That's I, again, I think he tries to be nuanced, and he can be nuanced sometimes. He's not there all the way there yet, um, and he doesn't get the ball here, but that's a great job of being able to create separation and use his decent speed and athleticism, in my opinion, uh, to get the, open that hole. I mean, that separation is crazy. An NFL quarterback is going to see that and hit that, and he's going to be right here and get a good ball and could potentially go for a lot of yards. Um, good route, right? Just I, I think it's a really interesting route. Uh, I love the way that he adjusted it. When he saw that safety, he saw the safety, uh, he gets sold, and he made that move vertical. I like that. Again, another great route from Burks in this Georgia game. We're going to watch him come in. This safety's playing zone, so he's going to be in his zone. And instead of running into the zone and getting that safety to lock onto him, Traylon Burks does a good job of coming inside, coming, and then curving his route inside so it comes out of that safety zone and then going right back out. Um, and being able to potentially make a really big catch. He doesn't come down with it here, but this is a great, this is a good effort, and it's a really hard catch to make. We'll see. 
um, but he does a really good job here of just being able to curve his route inside so the 36 the safety isn't working looking uh worried about him and he's going to curve back outside um and oh man he's so good with the, he's so good at the contested catch point he has that vertical ability and that body control that i love um and he almost came down to this one man i'll go to the cartel view real quick and we'll take a look at it but that's a really good job of just being getting up honestly that's a gr not a great ball from number one um but he's able to make the most of it and try at least come down with it he almost gets it he just loses it on the way down he he has the catch he just doesn't secure it you know what i mean like that is a crazy crazy play um, just shows off what Traylon Burst can really do with that vertical ability and the route running ability. Um, that's why I like him, and I think that's why a lot of other people will end up liking him as well. And Traylon Burks, for reference, is about 225 pounds, um, but he does a great job here of being able to get off the release, use his long stride hit to get out, and then curve it inside. Let's just watch it. Um, he comes off and accelerates pretty quickly and immediately. And again, he's going to run over that r linebacker and underneath that safety. And this isn't as good of an, good of an example because Bam is a little bit better and they're able to adjust here. But it's still an amazing catch from Burks. Um, the body control here to stay up, the contact balance after number nine, Jordan Battle hits him. And he stays up and keeps going. Uh, decent route again. I don't know what his route tree is. It seems like this is kind of a longer drag. But if it's an in route, I'd rather have him cut right here. And I think he, he does a decent job of cutting, but there are times when he, he tries to be sudden and just doesn't have the the, 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 the quickness and agility for it just because he's a little bit bigger of a guy. But either way, this play right here, I really love the body control and I really love the catch, uh, th especially through that traffic. And he's, he's going to be able to fight to get more yardage. Um, he could go down here and lose, and lose um, yards, but he's going to stay up. And he's going to keep going and at least get back to even. And that should get them a first down. Um, good job from, again, I just love the fact that he's able to make a catch through traffic like that. Um, that's a really good play from Traylon Burks. Again, also with the contact balance and being able to stay up there. And hey, man, if you can't separate, you better be great as a contested catch receiver. Uh, let's check this play out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't see much separation here at the at the catch point, right? This 28 is draped all over Traylon Burks because 28 is faster and 28 is going to be able to get a better uh, gets gets into his back pedal and is going to get uh, more of a cushion so he can st stick with Traylon Burks. But Traylon Burks is body control and ability to turn back and make this catch is what separates him from other receivers in the class like that. That is amazing effort. And we're going to go watch the cartel view and you're going to see it a little bit better. Um, again, not great separation. Good acceleration, honestly. But that's the where he makes his money. Those contested catch plays um, are where he makes his money. And he does a lot of those on a pretty consistent level. This is a great example of it. Um, again, so he may not be the best separator, but if you can be a good contested catch guy, you're going to be good in my book, right? It, it kind of cancels each other out. If you don't separate, but you can get contested catches, um, you're great. If you can't separate and you can't get contested catches, that's a different story. Um, Traylon Burks is not one of those guys. He's going to be able to go up and get those contested catches. Which is great play and we talk about yak yards after catch another really important trait to a wide receiver for me um cd lamb was always a player that i really loved because he hit of his yards after the catch ability traylon burks can do the exact same thing he's just physical he's going to be able to get through there and almost run number nine over um on this it's just a simple screenplay but he's able to go up and get that first down and then uh put his shoulder down and have three people to have to tackle him um because he's so physical and he's so much bigger than you he's gonna win these types of plays and get more yardage because he thinks he's bigger than you and he's gonna beat you with that physicality there's another great example of it later but this is just the first example uh he barrels down jordan battle right here and, and uh, if he didn't have if battle didn't have help that might have been a touchdown honestly um just a great play from burks mm, love that now this play is great for a couple of reasons again this is going to be a physical uh yards after catch type play this is also a good play because of the timing right let's watch 16 burks here it's just a simple flat it's just a simple leak out um designed to get him open and be able to get those yards after catch and he does it perfectly right we're going to watch him number 16 right here once the play is snapped we're going to count it right one mississippi he waits for a whole one 1000 um before he's able to get out 
and that kind of gives these receivers ahead of him the ability to congest number 13 who's supposed to be covering him right um so he has to he gets pushed over by 87 the tight end which allows burks to leak out if burke started running that route right away 13 would probably go over 87 before 87 got to him and be covered right there uh, burks does a good job of waiting and getting the timing right and then getting out in the open and we're going to see burks manhandle 13 right here uh get out of my way i'm scoring the touchdown uh that's a that's a great effort great play um and he's able to just break that tackle and get into the end zone uh love to see that from Traylon burks that's a physical yards after catch play and Traylon Burks, like I said before, isn't going to get you a lot of separation. But if he can run routes and if he can be a good contested catch guy, he's going to be able to make a lot of money on the next level. And we're going to see this right here. Um, good comeback route. Mm. And he's going to get out into the open, find that green grass, and he's going to score here. Um, I love the effort, and I'll tell you why up atop. Uh, we're going to come out of the release. Doesn't get a great release against 28 here, and he's going to end up falling over, stumbling a little bit. Uh, but he's going to recover, get back up, and he's going to right at the 50-yard line, so it's about a 15-yard route. He, uh, he's just going to pop back, and he's going to be able to get that on that comeback route. Uh, just an amazing effort of being able to recover, and then the route uh, totally sells 28 on the go route. He doesn't know what's coming, uh, and that allows him to get that separation right at the end there uh, to catch the football and then get out in the open. And he's going to accelerate a little bit. Traylon Burks isn't going to be a fast guy. He's not going to be a Tyreek Hill, or he's not going to be a uh, McCole Hardman or any, any of that, but he's going to be a decent speed receiver. Uh, who's going to be able to kind of break away from people in, out in the open and gain a, a rip off big chunks of yardage. Uh, you see a good acceleration there, and he's going to break away from everybody at the end there. Um, just a really good play, especially at that stem and at the top of the stem of being able to break away from 28. That's how we end things here, uh, and that just really shows, I feel, that what Traylon Burks can do. He's not... He's good at everything, but he's a master of none, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but that is good enough to get you picked, and I think he could become a master of a lot of things uh, with a little bit of development. So I don't do comparisons. Uh, I think I think every receipt, like if I do a comparison, it's something wrong that throws the whole comparison off. Like I can compare Matt Corral to Deshaun Watson, but Matt Corral doesn't have the same like mobility that Deshaun Watson had or the same uh like he's a better decision maker than Deshaun Watson was so that's why I don't like do that um but I could get close to it and if I were to describe Traylon Burks on an NFL level I'd really compare him to an AJ Brown and AJ Brown has found a lot of success on the NFL by being bigger than everybody and being able to come up and with and be a productive receiver and I think Traylon Burks can do that uh the problem is right now is that Arkansas didn't use him right uh Arkansas the the plays that I found I had to like hunt through two games of tape which isn't a lot but I mean other games I looked at he did not get the ball much they're option offense which means they give their running back their the ball to their quarterback or their running back most of the time um so it was tough to find plays with the ball in his hand and I think that's a that's on the Arkansas offense he's a playmaker and they need to get the ball in his hand um I think the versatility is cool. Uh, I'd like to see him at receiver a lot more outside of the. I don't. I don't really need the like halfback or the the tight end type uh, lineups. I mean that's cool and Danny that you can do that and confuse defenses. That's awesome. That's a great trait to have. Um, but I think he's best as an outside receiver who's going to beat you with physicality um, and going to be able to come up and get those contested catch balls. Um, like I said, he's a good at a lot, but a master of none. He's a decent route runner, but he lacks the true nuance that I want to see. Uh, he has some hand problems, stuff like that. Um, but as a whole, I really like him. I don't think he's wide receiver one. I think Garrett Wilson or Drake London are my wide receiver ones, but he could, he's definitely in that conversation for wide receiver three. Um, I think he's a really good prospect, and while I don't think he's a top 10 worthy player, if Atlanta is an eight and wants to trade down, uh, go get your man, but I, I my team's picking at nine is all I gotta say. So if you want to take Traylon Burks at eight and slide some really good defensive player or some really good tackle down to me, I'll take it. Uh, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, make sure to like, leave a like and subscribe. It's a shorter one, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we're gonna try and alternate, get through the draft season like that. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.